Hello. Good afternoon. I'm sitting in the office. And of course this big guy is taking a nap. We do this about every afternoon for, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes longer if we have time. I wanted to give you an update on him. I know uh, you haven't heard much about him for a while. Um, but um, for those of you who don't know, this is the count. He is a almost 43 year old um, Hyacinth McCall. <laughs> I'm Corey. Nice to meet you if you don't know me. Um, so this is, I'm in my office chair. Let's see if I can get a better perspective here. <laughs> I'm in my office chair. He's literally sitting on my lap sleeping. So this is something he enjoys doing. Um, he would probably do it all the time if he could. <laughs> um, this is special to me and I wanted to share it with you because um, I've, I've been around a lot of birds in the past nine years volunteering here and being a part of Rhode Island Parrot Rescue and I've never quite met a bird like this um, so there's two ways to look at it obviously we know he has some severe medical things going on so that goes without saying um, he does suffer from a chronic um, upper respiratory infection um, so he's on meds twice a day um, he also gets eye drops because uh, he is blind in one eye and mostly blind in the other. So this guy depends on us for everything. Um, we hold his water bowl up for him. We hand feed him a lot. Um, and then obviously we also um, allow him to be independent enough to find his bowls. And um, he does hang out. This is his cage here. Oh, I moved. <laughs> Okay, bud. So this is his cage here behind me. So he hangs out a lot on the top of the cage. Um, he's got a toy box up there and um, anyhow, so um, we didn't know if he was gonna make it back in January. Hello, Count, look, you have an audience. Hi, hi, sweetheart. Hi, what are you doing? Say, I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable. So anyhow, um, I think we go back just to uh, Angel to see Dr. Noonan just for a regular checkup, um, I think next month. And um, we just take it day by day with this guy. So um, we wish we could get him to eat more things. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, if we hand feed him, he'll eat just about, or try just about, just about anything. But uh, it's not always possible to hand feed him all day, so. Um, he loves macadamia nuts. When he first came to us, he was not even strong enough to crack the macadamia nuts with his beak. That's how weak he was. Um, and he is able to crack the macadamia nuts. Um, and he's been eating about a half a cup to a cup full a day. Um, those can be super expensive. Um, he does like them. And let me tell you, I cried the first time I saw him crack a macadamia nut open. Um, don't know if he ever had macadamia nuts offered to him before coming to our rescue. Um, he was on a diet that consisted of peanuts, sunflower seeds, yogurt covered pretzels, chocolate covered pretzels, uh, dried fruit like apricot and papaya, um, a very uh, fatty, high in sugar diet, um, which uh, we know is not good for parrots, just like it's not good for our kids, right? Or us, for that matter. Um, so... We're super glad that he um, is able to crack the macadamia nuts open, so that's really cool. Um, he also um, exercises his wings every single day, and he does get worn out. So before um, he came to my lap, he was getting, getting his exercise in. Um, so he doesn't preen himself. Um, if I showed you my lap right now, you'd probably laugh. Um, I was preening him, obviously. Whoops, my phone says don't rotate the phone that way. Um, so we take care of this guy. Um, there is a medication um, that would help his chronic upper, upper respiratory infection, but unfortunately uh, we, the doctor feels like it would destroy his liver and kidneys by administering those meds. 
Um, and so we're looking into maybe other options as far as maybe um, something that can be put, uh, <laughs> glitter, I love it. Uh, something that can be put into um, his nostrils. Um, he's so good. He, he doesn't like to take his meds, but he does it. Um, he's got to do it twice a day. And um, he also gets eye drops. Um, one of his eyes, if we don't keep this eye drop in it, um, It'll either deflate or it'll get like super inflamed. Um, this is the eye that he sees a little bit out of, I think. I'm trying to remember which way I have him facing. I <laughs> can't remember right now. If I move him and look, I could tell you. Um, but this is probably um, one of the things I'm able to do here that brings me some... I don't know, some of my own therapy kind of um, brings me some solace knowing that he uh, just really just loves just being here. And I, I know birds aren't supposed to be snuggled and they're not supposed to be touched in certain places. You know, the only safe places are from the neck up um, and the feet so that we don't give them the wrong idea. Um, so I do try to be very careful with, um, you know, the messages I portray to this guy. Um, so he's, uh, he's going to be 43 years old this year. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. I get, I'm not going to let myself get emotional, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to feel if anything ever happens to this guy. It's, uh, definitely, definitely going to affect, definitely going to affect me. Hi, Willow. How's it going? <laughs> so it's funny. He was, I look a mess right now. This is how I end up looking. And he snuggles in my hair and moves things all around. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. I just want everybody to see. Like, this is the first bird that, and I mean, gosh, I've probably met eight, nine hundred, a thousand birds over the past nine years. God only knows. But Hey, we try to give every single one of them what we need, right? Or what they need. And uh, if he just enjoys this for 30 minutes a day, I am not complaining because I get to take my lunch break or I get to make a couple calls or whatever. Um, and he just sits here. And he's completely content. So uh, I also wanted to mention um, we did reopen our... Um, adoption applications to applicants that live more than an hour from our facility. Um, due to staff shortages there for a while, we were having trouble being able to do in-person home visits for people that um, live farther than an hour from our facility. Um, so um, we now have um, a new um, adoption specialist that's helping us out with our adoptions. Her name is Chanel. Um, so, um, now that there's like four of us handling adoptions, um, versus two, um, it's, uh, allowing us more time. So we have opened back up the, um, adoption program to applicants living more than an hour from our facility. Um, so if you are somebody who's kind of been on hold, we should have contacted you. Uh, you might want to check your email. Um, if you were on hold and we did not contact you and you are still interested in, uh, adopting one of our parrots or learning more about what it's like living with a parrot, um, check our website out. Um, you can always instant message us here on uh, Facebook or Instagram. We also have a contact form on our website um, should you feel the need to um, want to email us. Um, Todd is doing very well in his home. Um, he was the other guy who we had a little scare. Um, he's doing pretty well on his heart and his uh, seizure meds. Um, so thank you again. That was the telephone. Thank you again to everyone um, who, um, you know, supports us in any way, um, whether it's um, funding some of our emergency vetting campaigns or whether it's, um, I know we have 401 gives coming up. Um, very soon um, on April 4th. That is Rhode Island's Day of Giving. Um, so um, look out for the campaign. I think we're using Cheerio again, but I'm not sure. We haven't actually decided, but that's going to be something fun. 
Um, we are really looking for a new facility, uh, a new building to accommodate um, some more office space and uh, obviously our rescue. So um, that's exciting news. I, I We're trying to raise funds uh, for that now. Um, hi. Hi. Did you want to say hi? <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's like, bye-bye. <laughs> Look at this guy. You are too much, buddy. You know, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, I want to be happy because I'm like, oh, he loves me. He wants to hang out with me. But at the same time, I'm like, this is not common for a bird. Not common at all. Matter of fact, I've never seen a bird want to do this. Unless it's being touched inappropriately and feeling kind of sexual. Um, but, so it does uh, kind of make me feel some type of way, you know. Obviously, um, parrots usually are moving around a lot and don't like to stay in one place. Uh, so it kind of tells you a little bit about um, his condition with him just kind of being like, he gets excited for a few minutes, he'll get bursts of energy, and then he's like this for half hour to an hour where he just wants to sleep. So he's an old man, he's an old man. So for those of you who um, donate to us, um, whether it's like a monthly reoccurring donation or a yearly donation, or maybe um, you support some of our campaigns here that we um, run from time to time, um, it is birds like Count that uh, need your support more than anything. And I would not be sitting right here being able to hold him um, had we have not gotten the funding to keep our rescue open and be available to birds like this that need somewhere to go. Um, so just wanted to say thank you. Um, this makes my job worthwhile right here. I mean, I think it's funny. I, I posted a picture and I was like, hyacinth backpack, anyone? Who, who wouldn't want a hyacinth backpack, right? So anyhow, um, yeah, we're still going to be in Rhode Island. We're not going, we're not moving out of Rhode Island. We'd like to stay in Warwick, actually. Um, we love the city of Warwick. Um, we work with a lot of the uh, local community schools, high schools, Girl Scouts, um, and a lot of like the Perspectives organization, the Goodwill Industries. And so we really like this location. Um, so we definitely want to stay in Warwick. So if anybody knows of a nice property out there that would be suitable for a parrot rescue, please send it our way. Um, big thank you to Sue Baker at, um, the Warwick City Hall. She's been sending us and notifying me of properties in the area when they become available. So that's really awesome. Really appreciate that. Um, and I'm trying to think, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I think we have the popcorn candy chocolate fundraiser going on. Um, if you didn't place your order for that, I believe the last day to place an order is Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there's like all kinds of yummy popcorn available. I happen to love the, um, cheddar jalapeno. It's super good. Um, maybe I'll try to post a link. Um, I'll throw a post up after I end the video. Um, so those of you who are interested don't have to like go looking through our feed trying to find the fundraiser. Um, cool. Well, uh, I was going to see if maybe I could show you how Count gets back to his cage, but I don't think he's anywhere near ready. Yeah, he's passed out again. <laughs> and people wonder why there's late nights at the rescue, huh? It's hard to leave. It's hard to leave. But I have birds at home too, so. All right. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on Count little look into uh, an afternoon, what it's like for me here. I've got tons of paperwork on my desk waiting for me to get to, so I'm going to jump off here. Um, hey, Linda! No, Evangeline, we do not have Midnight. Midnight was adopted. I'm trying to see if anybody asked me any more questions that I didn't answer. Oh, I want to hold him so bad. What a love. <laughs> he's funny. He's uh, he's pretty picky, actually. Um, if he doesn't recognize the voice, obviously, because he can't see, so it's got to be the voice. If he doesn't recognize who you are and you try to, like, touch him or, or uh, you know, he'll, he'll kind of like, uh-uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Guys, I, I have a really awesome uh, 
I don't even call it a job. I get to get up every day and come do what I love to do. So I'm not going to say it's always easy because it's not. It's very tiring sometimes, but this makes it all worth it, you know, just seeing them happy. And then uh, I was hearing my volunteer, one of our volunteers, Bettina, she talks to the birds is, is just literally incredible. She's so happy when she's here and the birds just love it. I don't know if you guys can hear him breathing or not. Yeah, so hopefully his breathing stays the way it is. It's pretty good. It's been pretty good since, uh, what, the beginning of February, bud? Yeah, beginning of February. Um, hopefully it stays. The antibiotic that he's on right now seems to kind of keep things at bay, so. Yeah. Sleepy boy. We took him off the gabapentin, by the way. I don't know if I shared that with you guys, but he was on gabapentin. Um, he has some pretty bad arthritis, like, all over his body. Um, but the gabapentin, um, I personally just, I'm super glad we, we took him off of it. We weaned him off of it. Um, he just was super dopey and, and didn't want to move, didn't want to play. Um, just looked like really high. I don't know a better way to say it. He was just gone off the gabapentin and we were giving him like a pediatric dose. So we had the ability. So I think we, we had him up to like a half a dose and then we took him to a three fourths of a dose. Um, but once he came back from his cat scan, um, and he was in his carrier for a few days until we, we got the results. Uh, I was like, you know what? I wonder how he would be like, without the gabapentin. I wonder if that's why he's so dopey all the time or why he doesn't really move around that much. And so quite honestly, um, we've seen a significant change uh, in his behavior and the amount of time that he rests. And um, he started flapping his wings all the time. And so he definitely moves around and is awake a lot more off of the gabapentin. Um, we don't feel like he's in any pain um, or obviously we'll put him back on. Um, because we were just trying it out for the arthritis. So, <laughs> he always looks like he's smiling. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I love you, little buddy. Yes, I do. You're the sweetest. You're the little cutest and the sweetest. Yeah, you are. You really are. Yeah. Do you want to show everybody how you get back to your cage? Huh? You want to eat? You want a cookie? You want a cookie? Count. You want a cookie? One of our volunteers keeps count stopped. Oh, yeah. You want a cookie? Let's see how bad he wants this. If I can reach it. Oh, my goodness. These are uh, oven-baked cookies. And you see how he's like, ooh, I hear the bag. Mm-hmm. You see that? Interesting, right? Ooh, you want a cookie? Yeah? So let's see if I can uh, work some magic here. Give me one second to open this. Mmm, Count wants a cookie. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Look at you. So, I can either let him eat it on me and get a mess all over me, which is uh, generally what I do. You want a cookie? <laughs> there he goes. I <laughs> get in my ear. What's so cute, believe it or not, and what warms my heart is that he's actually strong enough to hold his food with his foot and eat it because he couldn't do that for months. So just him being able to hold his body weight up on one foot and eat his cookie is a very awesome thing for me to experience, even though most birds just do that automatically. Uh, he was unable to do it, so... I love seeing little things like this. I log videos of this little dude every single day. One of these days, I'm going to put it all together and, like, put his story together. I think it would be pretty cool. Huh. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> so, if uh, anybody wants to send Count something... Uh, 
I have mentioned two things that he totally loves. Um, macadamia nuts in the shell. We actually have out of shell right now because I couldn't get any in shell. Um, and then these uh, oven baked cookies he really enjoys. Um, so there was their, uh, and believe it or not, uh, PetSmart has these um, cookies on sale a lot. Sometimes you can catch them for like five bucks a bag. Not that I really support box pet stores or anything, but you can get them there and you can also order them online. <laughs> look guys, I'm getting, look at this. I'm getting a shower of bird cookie. <laughs> oh, are you done? Would you like another? Huh? Would you like another? Hmm? Oh yeah, he wants another, I can tell. All right, so I'm gonna set my phone down. He is not ready to get off of me, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna set my phone down and see if I can get him to step up. Hi, sweetheart. I got some cookies, okay? Come here, come on, you step up. Oh, don't get upset, I'm right here. I know, I know. Come on. No? All right. Okay. All right, so, sorry, I've got crumbs falling. Let's see if you can see me. Okay, cool, so you can see me. So, uh, I think Count's gotta go to the bathroom too, so. Come here, come on, up here. Look, cookie, up. Good boy, good boy. Come on, you can stretch. Good job, good job. Oh, and he wants to play with his toys. And do a little stretch. All right, so he's stretching. <laughs> and I am getting all the crumbs out. There we go, he's gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, pardon that, sorry. All right, let's everybody watch here. You want a cookie? Cookie? Count. Hey, you. Do you want a cookie? You want some? Good boy. So that's like one of his favorite things. And um, it's also a good positive reinforcer for him. It, um, when I need to get him to step up or step down or move around, go into a carrier or something like that. Um, he really loves those oven baked cookies. So, <laughs> all right. I uh, am going to jump off here. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking everything out. If I missed any questions, I will definitely go back and uh, look through the feed. So that way. Oh, thank you, Willow. I appreciate you posting the popcorn fundraiser. Yeah, anybody who wants like popcorn candy. There's also some gardening stuff in there. I ordered um, some like flower seed packs. Um, but all the money raised for that fundraiser goes towards all the birds and to help care for them here. Let's see if I can get him in the screen. He's like, wait, uh, another cookie, please. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, here you go, baby. Here you go. Oh, he took another one. He loves those cookies. But anyhow, I forget what I was just, just getting ready to say. But um, thank you guys for everything. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it really helps us to know that um, we have your support out there. It helps us to know that there's people that care just as much as we do. Um, so we love hearing from you. Uh, we love your stars. We love your hearts. Um, we see and hear them all. So, um, just want to say thank you and um, look forward to the 401 Gives campaign because we should have something really cool coming out for that. <gasps> Guys, look. <laughs> sorry, that just warms my heart. So, so sorry. I love seeing him exercise. His wings were pinned. So if, if those of you who don't know what that means, they were kind of like uh, twisted on the ends when he was young so he couldn't fly. A lot of, not, I guess that was a old practice. I don't really see or hear about it much anymore. Um, but look, this is how he gets around. Hey, good boy, baby. Good boy. Oh, I love you, Count. You're such a good boy. You did a good job. You did a good, good job. I know I should have told you I was coming. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> all right guys oh my comments left i hope each and every one of you have a really good night um 
it's Thursday and it's been raining all day here, so hopefully we'll get some sunshine. And um, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.